Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Pokemon. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be the free emulator we're going to be using in today's video to play Game Boy games. So the first thing you want to do is get this installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be searching for and installing a second free app. And this is going to be Z Archiver. Z Archiver is another app I'd recommend having on your Android device regardless. It's a great app for file management, extraction and compression. We're going to be using it to extract our games a little bit later on. So the first thing you need to do is get both of these installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. From this point, we're going to be clicking on the load core option right here. Here we'll see a list of all available and downloaded cores. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we see the download a core option right here. We're going to be clicking this open and here we'll see a list of all available cores that we can download for our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we see Nintendo dash Game Boy slash color. And we're going to be looking for the Gear Boy emulator core right here. In this case, this is the core I've been using to test and work with, and it seems to work fine. Although there is a couple of other Game Boy cores here that I'd recommend experimenting with if you have issues with one, or if one core is giving you issues with a specific game, it may work fine with another core. To install a core, you simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom. Once the text disappears, your core will be installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here by clicking back on the top left. We're going to be clicking load core, and then we're going to be clicking to load the core that we just downloaded for me, which is right here. Simply click on it and your core will be loaded. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be opening up C Archiver and you're going to be locating to where your games are downloaded. In this case, I have my Pokemon right right here. And I will mention from this point, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to download games. Although games are really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. You'll find them really easily, but most likely your games will come in a .zip, .7zip or .7z or a .rar format. In this case, we're going to have to extract our games out of this format and that's where we're going to be using Z Archiver. So once you've located your game, simply click on it once. And what we're going to be looking for is the extract here, which is going to extract the game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you would like to choose where you'd like to extract your game to. In this case, I'm going to be clicking extract here to extract my game in my current location. And you can see my game is in a dot GB file right here. So that's exactly the file type we're looking for for our emulator. So we're looking for dot GB files and the archiver is going to get us exactly what we need. After you have your games extracted, we're ready to go back to RetroArch. And from this point, we're then ready to load our game. Since we already have our core loaded from the previous step, we're simply going to be clicking load content. And then you're going to want to locate to where your game was just extracted. In my case, I have my Game Boy folder right here and I have my .gb Pokemon red file. To load up your game, simply click on it once. If you have multiple cores that can read this file, you'll have to choose your core again. In this case, I'm just going to be choosing the Game Boy core we loaded earlier. And just like that, your game will load up. The Game Boy is an old system, so it should run on most phones just fine. And it works really, really well. I would recommend connecting this up to an external controller, depending on the games you're playing. I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video but it's really easy to do i actually have a previous video where i can show you that you can simply click the card on screen and you'll be able to set that up anyway guys it's as easy as that to play game boy games on your android device if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace